Matthew chapter 2, the first couple of verses. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. We know the story. The story of the Magi, or, or sometimes we call them the wise men, that came in search of the King of the Jews. Who were they? Well, we don't really know. We, we know they were from the east. They were wise men, magi, possibly kings. But their names, we don't know. Man has attempted to give them names, but we really don't know their names. But their names weren't important. One thing that's interesting, though, is that these gifts they brought. See, Mary and Joseph had to escape to Egypt. How were they going to pay for that? These very nice gifts that the magi brought allowed them to do that. I want to pick this back up in verse 11. It says, On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and incense and a myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Think about this. How long were they with him? Maybe an hour or half a day, a day? Maybe they spent a week there, or a month. We don't know. But what we do know is that when they came to this child, they bowed down in reverence. And we do know that then they returned to their country. So in other words, this long journey, this long trip just to see this child for, what, an hour, a day, a week? We don't know. But then they returned to their country. What motivated them this? The same thing that motivates us to give our lives, to honor someone that was convicted as a criminal and impaled on a cross. It's an understanding that he was from God and that God's hand is involved in what was going on here. There's something greater than the life on this earth. I'm not sure if you followed a star to your relationship with Christ. Me, I'd say it was something in the heavens, but it was more of a thunderstorm that led me on my journey. But all the things come together. What came together in your journey to the point where you now are? These things, they come together. And in the Bible, we see different things coming together, different paths that individuals took, roads that God led them down to get them to where they were. This next year, we're gonna embark on a journey as a congregation. And we're gonna use these next few weeks to encourage you by individuals and their journeys that we see in scriptures. Each one of us has a journey, a story that's led us to where we are now. As we venture into 2022, I'm excited about what God is going to do through all the stories we have here. Everybody coming together, where he is going to lead us, the journeys, the paths that have been brought together, that have crossed, that join together as we go forward. I'm excited. What a journey into 2022 this is going to be. How I wish we would have known But long awaited Holy stranger Make yourself at home Please make yourself